This is currently what the Perth rental crisis looks like. I wanted to check it out for myself. So I found this 3 by one for rent and went to the open home. I was first there. And then people started turning up one after the other. And they just kept coming and coming. I couldn't believe it. There were cars parked everywhere up and down the road. There must have been 50 plus people at the home open. Is it time to buy your own home and say goodbye to renting? So remember when I said this? Maybe overplaying your hand and kicking out good tenants that have been here for a while isn't the best thing to do. My sources tell me that it's still on the market, they're still unable to rent it, and in fact they actually had to reduce the rent because they're unable to find new renters. And when they sent me the initial rent increase email, I was so nice and generous that I did some free market research for them, didn't even send them an invoice for it. I found three comparable or better properties that weren't asking anywhere near the rent that they were asking, and basically said that these had been on the market for a while, and if you get rid of your renters, your place is also gonna be in the market. And actually in the long run, this is how much money you're gonna lose compared to coming down and meeting us in the middle to the rent that we were willing to negotiate at. Did they listen? Of course not. Are they now bleeding money? Yes. Am I happy? Absolutely. Am I petty? No. So I'm getting kicked out of my flat. It's back on the market, obviously. £450 more than what I pay. That's how much more he wants to earn off, man. He's gonna violate the people of London. Honestly, I feel for you, man, whoever lives in this show. And this evening, bare viewings, right? Getting booked from 5.30 to, like, I had to make sure I wasn't in the office working from home so I could be here sat waiting for it. They haven't given me no training though. They haven't told, right, Chazzy, you've got to act like this. You've got to act like this. Don't say this, don't. So I'm just thinking, oh yeah, what? So yeah, you're going to pay 1950, my friend. Yeah, currently you're paying 1500, by the way. And also when we moved in, it was because he was kicking out the prior tenants due to rising the prices. So now he's doing this for us. Expect it to happen to you. Oh, also there's mold in the bathroom. Oh, also there's, the fridge is actually hot inside of the fridge. Do you know what I mean? Also the sink doesn't drain properly. Also. Living in London is an extreme sport. Let's explore this studio um, and see what's there. So for £1,200 per month, you get this spacious studio. It comes with a shower situated next to the supposed kitchen or kitchenette. And I suspect this because there are two hobs placed on top of a sink. A bed plus two hobs and a shower equals a studio, right? Guys, I need you to deep this with me. For £1,200 a month, this is a studio. Which comes with two hobs, a fridge freezer, storage and a shower. In the description, it says a very spacious studio apartment within a converted house located on the ground floor. The apartment is offered in neutral decor throughout and is available immediately. I'm trying to understand what this property could have been. And they just renamed it to a studio flat, potentially a staff room. But then wouldn't it be weird to have a shower next to a supposed kitchenette? Let me know your thoughts on this property selling for 1200 If any of you have any worse properties or any bad properties that you've seen, put them in the link, put them in the comments section in a link and I'll explore and do an investigation. But for more videos like this, make sure to follow me on TikTok and repost this video. Guys, rents in London are just so insane right now. I've heard anecdotally from a ton of friends that it's impossible to find a flat. Everything is gone within a day of being posted online and people are overbidding. But I didn't realize how insane it was until my own flat went up for rent on the market. We're moving out and my landlord put the flat on the market and within two days she had seven offers on the place. Almost all seven offers were above asking price with the one that my landlord end up accepting being 400 pounds above asking. Also get this, the person whose offer ended up being accepted put up 12 months of rent up front in cash. That's a lot. So recommendation from me is that if you're considering moving in London, don't. Oh my. Oh my. It's too much problems. Just wait till there's problems. What the f- Bro, this is disgusting. Feels like it's the owner. 
It's supposed to be, look at the light, the, dude. Oh, we are. My landlord increased my tiny room for almost 1k per month. I'm gonna show you what a great deal! This room is so small that this is gonna be the space where you can walk here, here. From the bed you can literally jump in the bathroom. A bathroom that this is being built here. So this one is a fake and sweet. Uh, basically, when I do the number one, I need to flush the toilet twice minimum, so you can imagine for the number two. This stupid thing, as soon as you open the, the water, like everything like goes everywhere. This is the pressure of the water in the shower most of the time. And my favorite part is the view. This is the wonderful view. Today, honestly, it's sunny, so wow. You need to have the curtain down all the time. Here we come to train. Say hello to the people. Hi. And if people are not enough, you can have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful view of pigeons, which they are still sleeping at the moment. But here, you can have billions of pigeons. You can see, wow, look at this, fantastic. Yeah, this one, fantastic. Every two weeks, more or less, yeah, at night time, let's talk about 1, 2, 3 a.m., you're gonna have people working in the tube and you won't sleep at all. They're gonna show you the kitchen full of amenities, but you're not gonna have any because these are all ours. There is a hole. In the, in the ceiling. So if you can see here and here, basically every single time it's gonna rain, you're gonna have a, a little pond in the kitchen. I hope you have your swimswear ready. Another fun fact, this man locked our thermostat a couple of seasons ago, so we freeze to death all winter. So be ready for that too. I almost forgot. Basically, floors and walls in this building are poo poo because we can hear our neighbors all the time and they can hear us all the time too. So every time they are walking or we are walking, they can hear us doing stuff, even going to the toilet, we can hear everything. So there is absolutely no privacy. My landlord is trying to increase my rent by $350 a week. When I received this email about a month ago now, we basically tried to negotiate with the landlord and real estate agent and just try and find a happy medium or a middle ground that wasn't as aggressive as $350 a week. Essentially, we were told this is not negotiable. Obviously, as a household, we freaked out. We had to sit down, talk about our limited options in this market. Because the real estate agent and landlord had said we're not budging on this $350 a week figure. Only then did we, after much deliberation, decide we're going to have to take this to tribunal if we want to stay living here. Quite a bit has happened since then. Not going to get into it in this video, but there's quite a bit to catch everyone up on. Anyway, basically, it was really, really stressful in the beginning. Like, no one wants to go down this path. We tried not to. But at this point, we are feeling really confident and really good about taking this to tribunal. So fingers... One blazing. thing you can absolutely guarantee is that as landlords' costs increase, as tax becomes less efficient, there is one solution to increase your rents. And even people without mortgages or low mortgages... They're not going to sit back while everyone else is increasing their rents and continue to be the only landlords that charge low rents. They're going to increase too. That is the nature of the beast. I cannot tell you how easy it has become to rent properties way more than I ever expected. I've got one four bedroom house and honestly I was happy with 1200 quid rent a few years ago. And it increased to 1400 recently because market started to push rents up 
And now I'm going to be getting closer to 1800 quid as a standard family AST. Not to mention my HMOs or my student houses. Literally, I am charging more than I was a year ago, including utilities. And now they've got to pay for the bills themselves. That is the fallout effect of when you start to try and squeeze landlords, they can start to increase rents and not really feel the pinch.